The theme of my talk today is Super 35 millimeter meets Super Telephoto. I'd like to introduce you to the CN20 by 50. And that takes you 50 millimeters out to 1,000 millimeters. We didn't stop there. We also put a built-in range extender, 1.5 times, to take you, if you have to, out to 1,500 millimeters. Now, this was largely a response to pleas from producers that we had consulted with in the television world, in documentary work, especially in natural history, wildlife. They really want those long focal ranges. These producers, in requesting these long focal ranges, emphasized you must keep that 4K optical performance over that entire focal range. That called for some very novel design strategies in the lenses I'll speak about. But they imposed two great constraints on us. And that was, we want all of that that we've just described, that telephoto, that 4K performance, but size and weight in our type of production is crucial. And what we have come in with, with this CN 20 by 15, is 14.5 pounds and 15.9 inches in the PL mount. Now, those are very severe constraints on a super 35 millimeter lens that has a 20 to one zoom. We had to deal with pragmatic compromises after a great deal of computer simulation to find out what were the variables, where could we stretch. We set the input diameter at 136 millimeters. That immediately set the sensitivity, the maximum relative aperture of this lens, wide open, is T5.0. Now, you might say, T5.0, we're sort of used to T2.6, T2.8 in some of your lenses. But again, we say, but remember, this is not just another cine zoom lens. This is a novel, innovative cine zoom lens with 20 to 1. To put it in context, T5.0, ISO 850, you can make full level signal with only 400 lux of light. That's approaching dusk. If the light drops further, we have to resort to ISO. ISO 1600, effective stop. ISO 3200, effective two stops. 6400, and at 6400, you are just, just beginning to see noise in the C500, 300 cameras. At ISO 3200, 1600, virtually no noise. Now, another constraint, of course, with size and weight is again, determined by this input focusing group, is ramping. This is the T-drop that takes place in most long zoom lenses, regardless of format. By a change in color, we'll give you an indication of when ramping on sets. As you go towards the telephoto end, the image inside of the aperture called the entrance pupil. As you go towards telephoto, entrance pupil starts to grow. And when that entrance pupil size diameter equals the diameter of the focus lens group, and you continue to telephoto, you can get no more light. The light will start to drop. Fundamental optical physics, true of any zoom lens in any format that puts constraints on size and weight. There was a large plea from especially the television community that we don't want 300 degrees of rotation on focus for our type of shooting. We might be tracking animals that are moving rapidly. We want to keep them in focus. So we manually may do it sometimes. So we restrained the rotation to 180 degrees on the focus of this lens, as opposed to the 300 degrees on our other cine lenses. And in terms of focus control, we have this ring, which engages with the servo drive for drive unit focus. This one here, this ring here, is also for focus with a 0.8 millimeter pitch for interfacing with standard drive units that are available. And then last but not least, for manual operation, this large rubberized ring gives tremendous tactile feel for precision rack focusing by the cinematographer. You'll notice also that display is beveled so the operator behind the camera can read those markings very clearly. The lens comes in either EF mount or PL mount. 
We're using PL here on this PL camera here. And that mount can be changed in a Canon service center if you have to go between those mounts. Incorporate in the lens mount the Cook iData interface communication between lens and camera. And if you have the EF mount, you have the Canon EOS connection between lens and camera with all of its capabilities. At the back here, there is the back focus adjustment and there is the macro adjustment. The range extender has little adjustment here. Another request from those many producers to whom we spoke was for a cine servo. The nature of the shooting that they might be doing on documentaries, wildlife, doing long zooms, sometimes fast, sometimes slow, to be empowered by a digital drive unit, which we have on this side of the lens here. And you can see it's a fairly compact unit. It has the traditional rocker on top for a zoom. This drive will move that zoom over the 21 range in 1.5 seconds. Or, if you want to do that very creative slow zoom, it can be as slow as 180 seconds. There's a display on the side of this drive unit that allows programmability. And I'm showing this configuration here. You'll see these two cables from the two connectors going to a standard Canon zoom drive controller and a focus controller. So you have that remotely on the pan bars here. The third connector here, 20 pin connector here, is for connection to a virtual system. Many of the cameras from the different manufacturers, the super 35 millimeter cameras, have standardized on the broadcast 12 pin connector. And we provide that cable to the lens to allow this lens to be connected to those various cameras. Now a little bit about the 4K performance. It's one thing to get that resolution at the center of the lens, but full 4K performance requires that that MTF, the modulation transfer function of this lens, be maintained from picture center out towards the extremities. But we have some very powerful simulation tools that were used here, and we mobilize a whole variety of glasses and uh, multi-layer coatings to control that MTF as high as possible and to increase the contrast ratio of this lens. We have some new and very exotic multi-layer coatings. Also, we have to maintain that 4K MTF over that focal range, and that calls for special design strategies in the optics. In the input grouping here, we have a very novel Canon patented system to control focus breathing. Canon rose to an unprecedented challenge from some of the great producers of the world who weren't quite sure we could do it, but they were going to ask anyway. They wanted it all. They wanted that super ultra telephoto way beyond anything that's out there in super 35 millimeter. And they wanted it in a size and a weight that allows them to move with mobility transport this in all sorts of difficult environmental terrain. And our engineers had a lot of homework to do to see if it was even possible. But look what they produced. It's an innovative game changer. This is a lens that is going to allow shooting that just can't be done in the super 35 millimeter format today. We at Canon await with tremendous anticipation to see what the television producers in documentary and wildlife will do with this lens. And we're intrigued to see what the theatrical motion picture world will do with a zoom lens, the likes of which they've never used.